Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to Cat King. This is Anisha here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the complete GK topic wise analysis for the past five years for TIS exam. Since if you look at the entire TISnet exam pattern, the most important section is GK. So let's try and streamline the preparation for GK by identifying which are the most important topics which we need to focus on right now. All right. So let's have a quick run through the same. This is based on the past year's papers of GK uh, of this exam from 2016 to 2021. So if you look at the various kind of topics which have come in, we have had questions, you know, 2016, I'm looking at, you've had questions. Uh, let's try to zoom it up a little so that it's okay. A little better for all of us to read through this sheet. Great. So here we are, we are looking at 2016 topics. It talks about questions on monsoon wages, documentaries, animals and habitat, folk dance and state, geography, vaccines, WHO reports, CA institutions, defense, ecosystem, epics and languages, organizations and their area of work, terrorism. Uh, CA stands for current affairs, okay? folk music and state, national movements, diseases and medicines, several harassment acts, terrorist groups and countries, communities of states, Indian civilian awards, national anthems, states and capitals, current affairs, just, uh, uh, financial institutes and their schemes, books and authors, crimes, countries and currencies, current affairs, Nobel prizes, famous multi-talented people, UN conferences, religions and terms, beliefs and terms, and the budget from current affairs. This entire 2016 section, if I have to analyze and see, majority of the questions are from static GK. That too from topics coming in from geography, history, about the constitution and economy, which is there, and whatever is like, you know, uh, terms with respect to whether it's beliefs, religions, uh, books, financial institutes, defining the terms of the, def uh, so it's more static based rather than current affairs based. Let's look at 2017. Then 2017 talks about country types like democracy, etc., dance and states, organ specifics, first PM of the countries, committees and roles, sports persons, GDP, GDP related questions, atmosphere, government yojanas, IPC sections, authors, wars and dates, medicines and vaccines, murder cases, famous acts, uh, tribes and practices, terrorists and countries, rights under the acts, climate change, sports, revolutions, entry to Oscars, names and titles, financial basis, current affairs, famous treaties, different awards, act enactment years. So a lot of things, again, based on static GK with respect to most of it is based on static GK, right? When we come down to 2018, okay, look at 2018, talks about organs, census India, computer terms, tribes and festivals, awards, programs and slogans, sports, committees for partition, airports, paintings and locations, books and authors, criminal act and guidelines, Supreme Court, climate agreements, Yojana government, WHO report, ISRO's achievements, a lot of things again based on static GK. 2019, parliamentary system, presidents, current affairs, Samaj and the founders, theories, deaths of people in the particular year, research breakthroughs, books and authors, constitution, painting types and artists, sports, rivers and cancers passing through them, uh, awards, famous movements, film festivals, reports by the UN, civilian awards, first female presidents, interesting, again, more static based. 2021, that was last year, Atmosphere, Nobel Prize, authors and books, vaccines, Lok Sabha speakers, sports awards, states and schemes, Oscar entries, Bollywood original adaptations, theme of surveys, viruses, father of various fields, UN authorities, 
schedules, uh, scheduled tribes, instruments and persons, space missions, countries and energy production, first of awards, national parks. So you look at all of this, you will get a fair idea that this net ka GK may there's a huge component of understanding social GK. When I say social GK, matlab sare uh, kya kya movements, awards in the various treaties, everything which is taking place, wo sari cheeze pata honi chahiye ki koon si nai yojna start hui hai, kya naya kuch ho ra hai, nai samaj bani hai, all of those aspects, koi naya niti ayog aya hai, ya government ka law aya hai, any new act has been passed. So government and social GK, a lot very important. Then a lot of questions coming from geography and history. Purane purani cheeze about the first, uh, you know, presidents, the first Nobel Prize winners, all of them. Very common topics with respect to uh, all the years is books and authors, sports awards, states and knowing about their you know, capitals, their presidents, their CMs, any new schemes which they have, knowing about the international organizations like WHO, that has been helpful, right? So what I want you all to do is make sure you start studying for all of this as a part of the GK Zone section from your dashboard, okay? In the GK Zone section, we have classified the books into multiple categories. So there are some books which are called as the must-do GK books, do those because those are common for all of them. These are our books and authors, awards, top CEOs, mergers and acquisitions, sports, these topics. Common for all of these exams. So, ye pehle pad lena. Uske baad, we have classified into multiple categories like business and economy. These have certain books which are must do for TISNET, like GDP of India. Then, you know, we have multiple art and culture. Art and culture, ka to pura section you should do mandatorily for TISNET because it's going to be very, very helpful. Okay, geography and history, again, must do for this net, because these questions are a lot of geography and history. Ke. Policy and international relations, a lot of questions coming about this, so usko pad lijiye. All of these books which are there, these GK Zone ka static GK eBooks should be more than enough to get you guys sorted with your entire GK section preparation. And there are current affairs monthly, uh, ebooks available as well to talk about the current affairs on a monthly basis. So the GK zone section is going to sort your GK part for TISNET exam, which is a part of the whole TISNET course. So if you have not yet started with your prep, get started and make sure you guys are reading at least one book per day to get your GK till 26 February sorted up. All right. Thank you so much. Stay tuned to the channel. And if there's any more strategy videos, any exam particular Topics that you would like me to cover up, drop in a comment section. I shall help you with the same. Bye-bye. Take care.